how often you find a reverb plugin that can be a catalyst for your creativity. Well, today I'm going to show you Vast by Heaviosity, which is the groundbreaking new convolution reverb. Not only it covers all your favorite reverb needs for modern productions, but it's also a one-stop shop for sound design that can absolutely unleash your creative potential. So let's dive right into it. Why Vast is so flexible and powerful is the fact that at the core of this plugin, you have different modules that you can move around and that you can change in order to tailor a specific sound that you're looking for. It also comes with a bunch of presets like rooms, halls, large, immense, different spaces like also plates and spring reverbs. Not only that, you also have a bunch of settings for guitars, drums, vocals, and then you can go in the world of creative textures and echoes to really go in the sound design territory which is probably the most fun to play with. So first here I have a percussive loop from Damage 2. Let's listen to it in solo with Vast deactivated and then I'll activate as it goes. So first here we have a pitch setting so that we can transpose one octave down or up our sound for the convolution reverb. Then we have Lush which adds modulation to your sound. Diffusion which actually tames a little bit the transient and the early reflections. And Resonance, this affects the loop here. So you can basically take out the low end frequency from these impulse responses that you can load. By the way, you can simply load an impulse response by clicking, dragging and dropping in the convolution module. So this is pretty crazy. <laughs> Here you have high width and low width. It's usually good to spread it a little bit in the highs and control it a little bit in the lows. Again, you have gain at the end of the chain and mix is for a blend of wet and dry and your pre-delay here. If you're syncing with your host, you're gonna have subdivisions like a quarter note, whole note, eighth note and all that. So let's listen to it and I'll be changing the settings as it goes. Lush can add modulation to the sound. Diffusion here tames the transient and the early reflections. Fade in and fade out changes a little bit the envelope from the IR itself. And this is for the stereo spread of your signal. So usually you want your low end a little bit tighter and you can have the higher end a little bit wider. Here you have settings for pre-delay. Here, very important, we have the gauge module and this, if we solo it, you're gonna see what it can create it's absolutely crazy. So you have your threshold. And you can change your rate. Now we're starting to get somewhere. So it adds a lot of movement. You can use the gate right on the downbeat, on the tempo, or you can use offbeat. You can also use a side chain to time it with a kick drum so that it will dock at that signal. So let's check out the delay module. So here we have again time as your usual delay. Spread will introduce a difference on left and right signal which can really create this crazy ping pong echoes. And then here you have again pitch, feedback, modulation amount, modulation rate and your filters and again your mix control. So if we solo. Okay. 
So again, the EQ here can be used as a filter if you put it at the beginning of the chain, or you can put it at the end or anywhere in between. And this can really help tailor the overall sound and mix here will basically control the amount of your whole signal that's being basically built and you will be able to balance what you want before the final output. At the final output stage, you can reintroduce more delay, like plate, spring, ambience, sound stage, concert hall. You can shape a little bit the tone as well here. And at the very end, you have clipping, which can really help you push your signal hard and you have different modes and you also have high quality with oversampling for saturation, soft clip and hard clip. So let's listen to a few things that we can really apply VAST to its full potential. So here I created a short loop and the cool thing with VAST is that you can reverse your impulse response here. So basically I reversed it to create an introduction for the next part. So let's listen to how it sounds like. This was already rendered here. Let's check out a short industrial loop that I made. This was all made with heavy Heaviosity's virtual instruments. You have damaged drum kit, mosaic leads, and a sand. Let's check out a short rock loop and this loop was basically copied and pasted but the second part has vast loaded onto it and the third part is just the guitars with an additional effect to show you how basically you can change a part just by using one instance of vast and you can see here the CPU is only at 50% and I probably have 12 or 15 instances of VAST loaded. So VAST is very efficient with your CPU. So let's listen to it. So here I just added the preset back of the club for the second part of the loop so you're gonna see the difference.
So these are all different drum presets. Let's listen to guitar presets here. So we have our main guitar rhythm here. Let's listen to the melody track with no effects and then the second one has effects on it. So here you see the power of the effect. So the first preset we were using is called Auto Strings. And the second one was called Crystal Gates again, which gives you this depth and texture. So it's very interesting the results you can get in such a short amount of time. So there's a ton of presets for guitars, drums and vocals, but you can also here go in the folder and these are all your IRs and they're sorted by types like room halls, plate springs, and also you can go in rhythmic, which is more loops. You have the BPM here. So these are very cool to create some weird syncopation in your sounds at the core of your convolution reverb. Now let's check out Vast on vocals. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us to a glimpse of how green it was on the other side. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us to a glimpse of how green it was on the other side. So you can see how much depth and space we're getting now. And again, you have the EQ here, which you can actually use to tailor the type of sound. So when using the specific uh, sideways steroid IR, I felt there was a bit too much high frequency content. So you just put the EQ module right after and you use it as a filter and then problem solved. So it's very, very powerful. And instead of loading a crazy effects chain, you can simply load vast and then you have inside built-in compression, delay and reverb because we usually like to have a little reverb after delay to smoothen the transients. So that's very, very useful. And you can create hybrid reverb by adding at the very end here an additional reverb just to help blend things together. So that's very, very powerful. Let's check out a few stock presets for vocals. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us. To a glimpse of a green it was on the other side. Steps taken forwards, but sleepwalking back again. 
Dragged by the force of some inner tide At a higher altitude with flag unfurled We reach the dizzy heights of that dreamed of world Looking beyond the embers of bridges glowing behind us to a glimpse of how green it was on the other side. Steps taken forwards, but sleepwalking back again. Dragged by the force of some inner tide. At a higher altitude, with flag unfurled. So you can see how amazingly flexible this plugin is. I would say the only downside of this plugin is that it's so fun that you're gonna have to be careful with your time. Otherwise you can spend hours just trying things and you won't finish your mixes. I really hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough of the plugin Vast by Heaviosity. The best way to know is to download the trial version and to check out all the features. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, subscribe and share with your friends. See you again very soon.